So Norway probably has a bit of troops. Where is your kingdom? There. No, no, I misclicked there. How many troops can you? Are you joking? How is that even possible? You're a tribe. You should have millions of troops. Why can I not declare war against you? Oh, you're not independent. You belong to this guy. Religious liberation of Sasana. Ah, would you look at that? Would get all of these. I'm a bit confused because it says the kingdom of Sasana will be liberated under a new ruler of the Catholic religion. This ruler will become a tributary. I am the ruler. <laughs> Either way, we would like to have this under our control and we can't press all the claims at once, so religious liberation. Sounds good. What 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 can you do? Troop wise. Excuse me? Zero? Yeah. Okay, let's check on the Germanic rulers. It's only really Saxony. And they are in a truce with us. They can't help. I don't think. And even if they did, well, we just saw what Saxony can do. Time to liberate Susanna. And you know what time it is? <laughs> I don't like that it still says maybe. Oh, he wants to be my vassal. Lovely. Let's have him be that. He's no longer my tributary for some reason. Oh, he still is. But now he wants to be my vassal. Alright, we're not going to say no to that. Fine by me. Cool. Brought one more into the fold. And you attach your armies. Go on. I don't think there's going to be anything that's raised against us. These defeats that are just popping up is some raiders doing their raiding thing. And we don't really care all that much. Interestingly enough, the negative effects from raiding are mainly due to the looted thing. That's what you want to prevent. You're not losing, actually. Like, you're not losing any money or, or anything. Once we've taken these pieces... We're also taking this piece up here? Yeah. I think this might also be part of the war. Probably not. Wishful thinking on my part. And we've claimed victory. Well. We could take some height of our tower and appease the church. For 240 months. Which is weird. Why did they not put that in years? I believe that's 20 years. Well, let's do that. We can lose a little bit of prestige. Look at this. Look at what we got. Sadly, prestige begins to matter less and less. As a feudal ruler. It's still a good... Oh, we don't have a steward. It's still kind of good... But even that amount of prestige just gives a plus 10 modifier on that. I was thinking, did our brother die for a second there? But no, luckily he didn't. So let's have a loyalist here. Someone even though he isn't really good. Doesn't matter. We want control of our council. Because maybe there's some laws to set.
Let's take away some council laws. Some count because that is something that is hard to accomplish. We want to get war declaration, for example. We want to abolish the council power eventually. Because that would be pretty cool. And we are the sole ruler. So let's get imprisonment. We would like to be able to imprison whoever we deem fit for such treatment. And thus, the law has been changed. Due to our immensely proficient scheming. Oh yeah, the great tower that I began planning so long ago has finally been finished. A tower they stole can be seen a long way away and people are equally amazed and frightened by the power I have displayed by accomplishing such a grand feat of construction. During the years of work I have spent my time perfecting my knowledge in the many key aspects of the science of construction. Knowledge that will last centuries. The tower is also sure to hold back many thousands of enemy soldiers. So we get to be an architect, which gives us siege plus 20%, which is nice. Oh, great work, build cost and time modifiers. Interesting. Interesting. I'm that, that is new. We could go for prestige who wants to do that. So we get a great tower, we get to be an architect, we get some prestige. Apparently we can't be a trader anymore then. What does trader do? Plus two stewardship. Ah... Uh... It's okay, it's offset by this. But let's do that. Let's be an architect. General opinion, plus five. Wow. That's great. Oh, hello there. Let's build a castle town first. Let's get some tax out of this. It needs to pay for itself. Before it begins earning its keep as a military thing. Let's have one vassal help us. Just to siege a bit quicker. And I don't know what he's doing. I doubt he knows what he's doing. So as predicted, Norway is sending exactly its whole army of zero. So that's something to enjoy. Oh, let's put another siege leader in here. Our second siege leader? Didn't we have two? Yeah, we did, but... Probably died. Ah, well. One siege leader shall be enough. To liberate the people of England. Hey, you. Give me a title. People are going to hate that. No, we're not going to do it. We can't do it. We shan't do it. We can have another little kingdom there. Wales. At some point, it becomes a sensible strategy to have kingdoms set up as such. Because you have to deal with... Again, just with like with the duchies, you have to deal with fewer vassals, direct vassals. So it's easier to keep everything under control. I can't buy stuff in my land. Go away. Your money is no good here. Not for such things. Right. <laughs> I feel like... 64% done. I feel like I don't want to do it. I don't want to put it away. But I also kind of want to do away with it because... Our crazy murdering great 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 someone I was a crazy person doing that horse graveyard we get a horse opinion of plus five that's it's just amazing siege defense levy size oh wow there's some pretty good modifiers on this can be used to execute prisoners. Wow. Okay. Minor titles. Our commander has perished again. 
It is perilous being a commander. Perilous indeed. Keeper of swans? Maybe her. I'm sure she's gonna keep some good swans. Let's speed this up a little bit. Oh, someone new! An 18 year old. Rawr. But she ain't good, so we don't care. We have one heir, and he is sort of good. Let's assign someone who's actually good. Um, sign Guardian. There we go. Let's be our own, his own Guardian. Let's do that. Let's educate our son. Now there's a focus that we could pick, which is called Stewardship. And give stewardship, as the name does imply. But there's really no good reason to do that. Because as far as I remember, in all the times I've played this, it has never really been anything good. It's just a lot of bickering you have to put up with. It's really all it is. Just a lot of bickering. I just spent a bit of money here and there. Buy some things. Let's try build another workshop. Sometimes they work out. Ah. And that's some pretty good. A man named Tadg. Says he's a veteran of many battles. Sure, let's welcome him. Maybe he's a good... Good military leader. Oh, yeah, he's, he's not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty good. We are all done. Let's go up here. And we're going to go for Deceitful and the other thing. Oh, oh, oh. Our, our betrothed darling wife has come of age. Let's have her. And our marriage... I've always been bad with diplomacy, and I fear that I will assault the ambassador when he arrives to talk about a possible alliance between me and his liege. My brother. Who's your liege? I am your liege. I oh, know, he's, he's not the guy who's arriving. Um, Alright, yeah, let, let's... Let's have our very capable brother take care of this. No need for us to do it ourselves. Let's see. Maybe we lose stress over it. Nope. Didn't. Ooh, it is the year 900. The time of the Crusader Kings. The very heartlands of Western Christianity are under siege by infidels. Desperate Christian lords have persuaded His Holiness Pope Honorius III to declare his intention of forging a great and righteous alliance to expel the heathens in the name of God. This signals a new era of large-scale Christian holy wars, the Crusades. Ah, oh, some German down there. The Teutonic Order, the Order of Brothers of the German House of St. Mary in Jerusalem has been formed, sponsored by the Catholic Church and the Holy Roman Empire. The Teutonic Order, much like the Knights of St. John and the Knights Templar, primarily protect and care for pilgrims to the Holy Land, but will serve any Catholic ruler willing to pay for their upkeep. Being a religious order, they will only fight against the heretics and infidels. Helfen wehren heilen. Which means, well, to help, to protect, to heal. Wehren is a verb of defend. Defending. Kinda. But it, it, it better translates to protect in this. In this context. And there's going to be more knights of these. Profide pro ultitate hominum. I should probably be able to translate that, but I don't. I ain't. Lots and lots of holy orders have been formed, which we can find here. So these can be hired. I could hire them right now. 
and it costs me piety. It does still cost me gold and upkeep, but it costs me piety to hire them because I am fighting an infidel. That's pretty cool. I think we should usurp the title of the Kingdom of Pictland. Yeah, let's do it. 200 gold. What's 200 gold? It's mine. Let's have it. Maybe she wants to be our vassal now. No. Why ever not? Oh, there, there. the Norwegians have arrived. Ring the bells. The savages have crossed the seas. I am not going to get into a argument between a vassal and his wife. I do not care. <gasps> oh, would you look at that? They actually brought troops. Wherever did he get those from? Oh. Alright, okay, I see. I've got a few people to join you, huh? Riot. Well, I guess... It's not much left for me to do, but... Raise my own troops. I do try to, you know, avoid such... Drastic actions. But you leave me little to no choice here. Have everyone lead over there. Everyone down here. Go over there. Or rather, everyone here. Go, what is the most defensible of these? It's planes. More planes. Ever more planes. Also plays. <laughs> it's no good defensible positions. Let's go here, actually. Maybe we can catch him at trying to cross. Uh, we're going to raise our own troops here. And immediately give chase. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. That probably wasn't the best idea. We're going to get beaten a bit. Everyone go get there. Quickly now, quickly. And with everyone, I mean everyone go get there. 35. Alright. We did win it. But it was a, no, a, a completely leaderless army and they almost crushed me. So you can tell the power of leaders. Of generals in this. Quite high. So this is going to be our defense force and everything else that kind of... Gets together there. Shall be our... Hunter-gatherer army. I like that he's just sending them in, in 22 pieces at a time. Let's send these to deal with that. Then with this. Another commander. They're kind of dying like flies, huh? Let's have people who don't like us anyway. They shall lead our armies. Where is he? There you go. Right to the front with you. Don't be afraid now. Nothing shall happen to you. Nothing at all. Oh, uh, we won. Uh, probably should. Can I do this? Did I just lose my title? No. Who are you? Kingdom of Burnham, Susanna. Doesn't want to be my vassal, though. 
What have we created? Oh, it's still better than it being the hands of such heathens. Definitely better. Do you want to be a vassal? So why, why? Ah, you need to be at peace. All right. Can't join your war either. What's left? Just a little, little bit of Denmark. Eh, that's not bad. 15,000 troops. Hey, you want to be my vassal maybe? No? No interest? You? No? How about a de jour claim that thing up there, huh? How, how about that? How would you feel about that? Feel good? Yeah? Right. We'll take care of that a little later. <laughs>